Okay. So, but now let's go back to Slumdog. And uh, we left off. We left off at the top of page 20. And remember, uh, did you have a copy of this? Do you have a copy? Okay. We left off. We left off at the top of page 20. And you, I, I'll get a copy for you. I'll get, yeah. Oh, do we have? Yeah, I'll get it. Do you need one now? Okay. Now, uh, let, let me um, let me review here real quickly. Remember that um, Ram, Ram Muhammad Thomas, three three religions represented in his name. Ram Muhammad Thomas um, has gone back to the orphanage and. Um, the thing that, that, that we, we saw happen when we were reading last was this man, this man, Sethji, who uh, is dressed very well, apparently is a, uh, a very prosperous businessman. He has come to the orphanage and Along with him were two other men who looked like gangsters. Okay? And also, remember there were two people in charge of the orphanage. The person in charge of the orphanage was an older man who was very kind. But then his deputy was not kind at all, was, was actually rather cruel to the boys. Now, what Ram noticed, Ram seems to be a clever boy. He, he, he seems to understand what's going on. Um, what he noticed, what Ram noticed, was that these gangsters that were with the very prosperous man, they seemed to also uh, know and uh, were, were uh, talking to, close to, uh, the deputy. So we should be suspicious. We should be suspicious, suspicious of what's going to go, of what's going to happen next. You know what I mean by suspicious? Suspicious. Right. Suspicious. When, when we are suspicious, we think something bad is going to happen or could happen. The verb, this is, a, this is an adjective. The verb is suspect. I suspect something bad is going to happen. I suspect something bad is going to happen. Or, I am suspicious that something bad is going to happen. It can be used either as a, a verb or as a noun. Okay, now, that's, I just kind of wanted to remind us of where we were. So we're at the top of page 20. And why don't we start with you, Nat, and then we'll go around where it says, what is your name? In the what, what is your name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Mm -hmm. Come in. Seth. Seth G. Seth G. Ah. Mm -hmm. Slim. Slim. Yes. Yes. Oh, can't. Oh, Yasi. 
we, yeah. we would say Salim Agassi. Salim Agassi, we cried Salim when did he arrive, set his up, cooked us, and then about every month ago from Chapra in Baina Se Kuta. He is dead and his family are called are all dead. That's what he said, says it is. But he is the kind of boy that I need. Kuta look at Slim, then at me. What about him? He pointed at me. Says it look at me, he is Oh, he said. He is only 10, said Kuta. His name is Thomas and he speaks very good English. If you take Slim, you must take Thomas too. You don't have to pay for him. Buy one, get one free. The tip spoke with the other two men. Then he said, okay, I'll check them on Monday. Slim didn't sleep that night because he was too excited. Okay, now. Do you like what's happening here? Do you like do you like what is happening so far? What's happening? If you, let me read it, let me read this to you. If you take Salim, you must take Thomas too. You don't have to pay for him. Buy one, get one free. What's happening? This man, this man is buying children. Um, I don't like the sound of that. Do you? You know, you know what I mean by I don't like the sound of that? I'm suspicious. I mean, they're, they're trafficking in young boys. Now, uh, let's, let's, let's think about inference here. You don't have to pay for him. Buy one, get one free. Sethji spoke with the other two men. Then he said, okay, I'll take them on Monday. So Sethji is going to go ahead and, and buy the two boys. Pay for one, get two, you know, buy one, get one free. Now, Selene, the younger of the two boys, did not sleep that night because he was too excited. Now, Selene is only a boy of eight. He doesn't know what's going on. He's not suspicious. He's innocent. Um, so when we read, we have to do more than just understand the meaning of the words. We have to infer the action. And so even though the deputy, Gupta, is arranging to traffic in these boys, the boys are innocent. They, they, they think they're getting this great opportunity to go to a fine school. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't know about you, but I'm suspicious. <laughs> okay, so uh, it'll be your turn. Where we start, we traveled. You know, we traveled by train from Delhi to Bombay, <coughs> which must have far and almost hundreds. So travel by train. Masafa and Panos select most of the time. They told us very little about Sashinji. They said that his real name was Babu Hola, but everyone called him Mama. Ma Mama. <laughs> that mm -hmm. each uncle in the Mar Marian language. Malay Yalam. Uh, Malay, Malay Yalam. My name comes from Kolam. Kolam in Kolkata, but had lived in Mumbai 
from a long time. He had a school for disabled children. My man believed that disabled children were nearer to God. He also saved children from home and gave them a future. At Manam's school, we would be touched wonderful things and would go on <coughs> to have successful life. They told us, by the end of the journey, I was sure that this was the best thing that had ever happened to me. Okay, let's stop there. Thank you very much. That was a very good job of reading. Now, in this paragraph, in this paragraph, we're told that Sethji is known by another name. Um, Babu Pillai. We're also told that he is also um, known by the name Mama. Mama, Mama, which means in, in the Indian dialect, uncle. uncle. Now, if I read this paragraph correctly, it is telling us that Maman is a very good man. He runs a school for disabled children and he gives them great opportunities. So, two paragraphs before, we've been given through the story hints, hints that that these 